Sarah and I have made our way to the top of beautiful Mount Ashland. Actually, the, the top's back there. We're not really at the top. Today, we're gonna do the Time Warp Trail, Jabberwocky, couple other ones mixed in. I have been hearing about this stuff for so long. And the temperature forecast today was supposed to be 107 degrees, AKA 40 degrees Celsius for you uh, non-freedom unit users. But up here, it's really, really nice and it's great. And we're gonna get going. We forgot all our water bottles at home, so we had to stop by the old Dick's Sporting Goods and get some. It was actually pretty reasonable. The price tag said 15, but when they rang it up, they were 10 bucks each, so not bad for one of these bad boys. We took the shuttle up from Ashland Mountain Adventures, and then we're just gonna ride all the way back down to town where we parked the van. Let's do this. Double. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Brake bumps are plenty. This is dirt surfing. Oh yeah. It's crazy to try to calculate through the brake bumps. Is this actually something I should be braking on? Most of the time, not so much. Whoa. Roll drop. <laughs> nice. Now let's kill all our elevation. And dust Sarah out. Whoop. Taste the dust, I taste the dirt. Blind faith. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! That was cool. Whoa! Yeah. I drooled on myself. I'm having so much fun. Whoa! <laughs> that was goofy. Wow. Didn't know what to expect. Yeah? This is cool. Trails for me are like movie recommendations. <laughs> I just need someone to say, yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. That's all I want to know. I don't care. That's funny. Just yeah. that it's good. The less I know, the better. The less expectations you have, the more chance you have to be thrilled too. Yeah. Surprise and delight. Wow. Here's the warp speed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys doing your photo session? Nice, cool, Get it. awesome, it's fun so far. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> we met those guys on the shuttle. Wow. Ooh. Woo. Into the darkness. 
into the slide. Wow. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh man. Oh, this is pretty cool. We're letting it hang out just a little bit because every time I go to break, I get really good traction. So I feel pretty good about going hard. Oh. Easy. Oh, oh the hands. <laughs> I wore gloves today because I cut my palm open doing something stupid. So got a band-aid on there. The cut would just get worn out, worn out, worn open. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, regroup. It's like bike park fitness where your <laughs> yeah. body has to get used to it, exactly. acclimate. Yeah. That is some good speed though. Totally. Yowie! I feel my chain go, 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 go. slapping my leg so much. The chatteriness. Whoa. It looks like a smooth trail. Well, it is a smooth trail right here, but going through a lot of those braking bumps is crazy how chattery it is. Blow me. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> then all of a sudden it's techie. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh no. Speed got running away right there. Didn't seem like I was going to be able to break. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Oh. not good too because it'll wear the tube out and then I know. when you need it I gotta get one a strap that works on the down tube yeah freaking send it Sarah Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, that was cool. So now that that joyous thing is over, we have 4.5 miles of this, uh, which is just crazy. It's, uh -huh. I, I was on the fence, like, what? Are we going to do this trail and then have to pedal this? But I think it'll be relatively flat. Okay. This gives us time to reflect on how much we enjoy time warp. Yeah, that was cool. And there is a way to ride trail all the way from the top to the bottom. We just chose to go do time warp but it definitely adds a few miles of this kind of stuff. So if you actually want to do single track all the way down, there is, there is another way. And I was very much debating. I just wasn't sure, ah, uh -huh. do this, do that. And pretty glad we did time warp. Yeah, because I feel like otherwise we would have missed the bottom of time warp with all those fun, fast sections. Yeah. Okay, so now we're at four corners and we're going to, uh, Climb up 1,200 feet to get some downhill. Oh, wow, okay. But it's not this, or is it? We just saw a guy carrying bear spray in his camelback, which is very interesting because 
really the bear spray is for the grizzly bears that will kill you they will eat you you need you need defense kind of even a gun would be good defense but the black bears it's people are so afraid of like bears and mountain lions and there are random little attacks here and there but really it's the grizzly bears montana and all these national parks and stuff that actually kill people but yeah. you don't hear anything hear more about shark attacks than any, anything maybe he just watched that revenant movie the <laughs> Falls, where the guy gets attacked by a bear and he tries to survive and it's fur you ever seen that one of course and I guess if you feel like it's life or death and you pick it out and you spray it and it, it you know, keeps the mama bear from swiping at you and biting you or whatever, that's, yeah. it works, I guess. But I, we were just in Yosemite and we were close to a bear, I guess. We didn't see it, but the ranger was like making this huge fuss <laughs> about it. Oh, you get back. Oh. It's like, are we living on a different planet here? <laughs> I know people are afraid of bears, but... It, nothing happens with black bears. There's a huge difference of everywhere but Montana and Alaska and Canada. I think for Yosemite, it's way more about protecting the bears from stupid people. Yes. Like stupid tourists them, that feed yeah. them and change their natural yeah. wild behavior versus with grizzlies, it's like protect yourself. It's crazy. They've been able to do really well at Yosemite too because my brother and my buddy, we used to camp out every year for quite a long time and now it's been five years, 10 years since we did that. And they used to have a sign that said like, 23 cars have been broken into this uh -huh. year alone. And there was no sign like that this year. So mm -hmm. maybe all the anti-bear behavior yeah. is working out of just, any time a bear comes into contact with a human, it should be a terrible experience. Exactly. Maybe we should just kill them all. No. And they have robot bears and stuff them. them. <laughs> no, if we all just learn to use certain rules, then we can coexist in nature and still enjoy it. Yeah. It's just a matter of understanding what the, why the rules are there and following them. Yeah, number one, you don't feed any wild animals exactly. ever, period. And the way you see people feed the ground squirrels at Yosemite, you know they'd feed bears in a second. Yeah. Especially the cute, cuddly ones. Yeah. We were at, hiked up to Glacier Point and we saw people feeding ground squirrels like out of their hand. And it's just like, you don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> you are absolutely crazy. These things can have all kinds of diseases. They'll bite you, they'll do anything. You're completely habituating them to human food. The worst possible thing ever. Okay, let's climb another 750 or so. Let's make it worth our while. Up and at them. Yep. I was ready to turn around, but the little lady said, no, mm -hmm. no cheating allowed, no getting cheated. Mm -mm. We should have never done this. Hey, whose idea was this? <laughs> we got this. this. It's only a little warm. You see what happened was <laughs> I ate two snacks <laughs> at the bottom. So I had energy to keep climbing. Yeah. But then once you start climbing, you're tired. Oh, it's tough. We made it. That wasn't too crazy, actually. Just so hot. Okay, you ready? Let's go. No, your goggles aren't on. How will you see under the water without your goggles? Uh, <laughs> the worst part was your scare tactics because you kept checking the map, <laughs> saying we are so far away. <sighs> Scared myself. <laughs> so the sign calls this missing links. L-I-N-K-S, but on Trail Forks, it's L-Y-N-X. I'm all screwed up. Spelling police. <laughs> Let her rip. This better be worth it. <laughs> okay, so far, slow and awkward. Oh no, are we already back? <laughs> Please, no. This was not worth it at all if we're ah. already done. Whoa, big old double. Another one. Wow. Ah. That was a huge waste of time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Don't do it. Yeah. That was disappointing, yeah. <laughs> We didn't know. <laughs> I gotta put the review on trail forks. There we go.
Oh, I'm gonna lost it down the side hill. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. Time warp was not that bad, even with conditions like this. Everything held really nicely. And then there's certain parts where you're like, okay, this would be really nice if it was hero dirt, but it's quite amazing that it can still be fun as dusty and blown out and chopped up as it is. That's a good thing. It's a testament to good trail building. Whoop and other circumstances. <laughs> oh man. Slideways. Okay. Ooh. That was good. Yeah. Lower links better than upper links. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Big old gap. Wow. All right. oh. <laughs> Just, huh. That was bigger than I thought. I thought I was going to crash right there. <laughs> Good job, bike. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Woo. Catwalk. Meow. <laughs> oh. God. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Cranking huh. uh, bumps got me. I couldn't that see. That was ridiculous. Line. Woo. Whoa. This is silly. In a bad way. <laughs> Crazy gully. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it just comes and goes with the horrificness. Like oh. that. <laughs> right there. It was horrific. Woo. Yeah. Stylish. Hi, yeah, that's fun. Man, trail building is hard and thankless. <laughs> that's why I'm just always so amazed when you go somewhere and everything just rides so perfectly, like Richfield, Utah, and Kohler and Bentonville. Whoa. It's so tough because if you got braking bumps on your trail, you either have the wrong people riding your trail or you built the trail wrong, right? Uh, or just the wrong type of soil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love that speed. Yeah. Ooh. It's really something. Yeah. <sighs> Makes you like think super fast yeah. and agile. I saw the steam coming out of your ears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa, yeah. I <laughs>
Oh man, I just shattered out so bad on my back end. Dang. Yeah, this isn't what it's supposed to be. Oh, almost took me out. This is kind of the reason I still haven't taken Sarah to Downeyville yet. When things get so chopped up and just blown out and hard to ride, it's, that's a terrible first impression. But Downeyville gets so blown out and chopped up so quickly. I've gone it, a couple times where there was snow still at the top and had to hike my bike through, and then it was still dusty at the bottom. <laughs> just crazy. I think it's a great trail and we got bad timing. Mm. I think that's what it's all about. In so, terms of the quality of it. Yeah, I think it's amazing when yeah. it's actually in correct shape. Mm -hmm. and right now it's just a shadow of its former self. Yeah, because it opened in May it looks like on Trail Forks. Yeah. So I guess we're right in the middle of the season. Totally. It's very much bike park sort of conditions. Yeah, dry, no rain. Uh -huh. When I think usually they get rain up here, but not anymore. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. It's it's fun even with all the braking bumps, but definitely beats up on you. Yeah. Makes it a little harder to maintain speed. Yeah. Oh, the poison oak is here. Oh, I already have some. I don't need any more. <laughs> you gave it to me. <laughs> this is where you should park to finish the ride. Now this is familiar from when we came here. Different time. We made it back safe and sound. Not a bad pedal. It's pretty, it takes a, quite a while to get back, but it's pretty flat. There's a nice bike path that we took through the cemetery and all that. It was pretty good. And then we stopped at the bottom of the hill for a little bite at, what was it called? Scout. Scout. Scout, like S-K-O-U-T. I got the tacos. She got the salad. Very that was good. very biker friendly. There's a bike rack out front. Just very nice. It is brutally hot. Just doing that ride flat, I'm like dying yeah. right now. And actually the van is freaking out. The uh, inverter in the van's like, turn on the fan trying to get cool. So luckily the van didn't burn down while we were gone. <laughs> Let's see if the cooler has any ice left. Oh yeah. Here you go. Boop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a new record for temperature inside the van. And if you're curious why we have a cooler, it's because the refrigerator is filled with all of the other actual food stuff. We got the cooler for the drinks, which was a dang good idea. After the ride, we went back to our campsite at Emigrant Lake. We got into the lake. It was blazing hot. The water was perfect. So, so nice swimming around in there. Got cold, got hot, got cold, got hot, got out started to see thunderstorms coming our way. We could totally tell, we could hear thunder, and we're like, eh, it's probably not gonna hit here. So it went from 100 degrees plus to all of a sudden raining like crazy, a thunderstorm. It was kind of nice. And we packed everything up and we headed out to the movie theater to try to get away from the heat. And uh, last night we saw Marcel the Shell, very nice. Tonight we saw Nope, no good, no good. And now we're making our way north towards Oak Ridge. I'm very excited to get some shuttle runs there. That's gonna be the next little stop, except for right here at the rest stop, sleeping in the van and uh, having the sweet tones of the freeway to lull us to sleep. So until then, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.